It's over, Rachel. Everything we have is gone. We're broke. Broke. Broke! Dad, can you stop yelling at Mom? She's just trying to help. What'd you say? I, I was just saying that you shouldn't yell at Mom. It's not her fault we're broke. Are you saying that this is my fault? Is that what you're saying? Are you saying that I did this? She's, is that what you're she's saying? She's not saying that. She's not saying that, okay? What's that? It's Amy's. She wants to enter a car design contest where she could win $100,000 and possibly an internship with one of the biggest car manufacturers in the world. Car design? Last time I checked, cars were for men, not women. Amy, what have I told you about this car dream of yours? That I'm a woman and women are only good for cooking, cleaning, and taking care of children. The rest are just stupid dreams. No! And if we put the batteries under the seat of the car, we can more equally distribute the weight and make the car 0.05% more efficient. You are such a bright girl. To be honest with you, I don't really understand much about how electric cars work, but you definitely have a gift. Thanks, Mom. I'm gonna enter the national car design competition where people submit their designs from all over the world. And the winner gets an internship at the national car manufacturer. That's amazing, honey. I kind of think you're going to blow the competition away. Well, Mom, I don't think it's going to be that easy. There's going to be the top college students from all over the country, and I'm just a high school student. Yeah, well, how many college kids can design a car with one hand and eat with the other? Hi, honey. How's your day? <laughs> I can't believe. That son of a, he's always doing that. I don't know what to do, he's gonna be. <sighs> Honey, oh my God, what's wrong? What happened? My dumb business partner. He doesn't know how to run a company. Now we're all paying for his mistakes. What do you mean? He made some bad investments. Now the company's going under. Going under? It's over, Rachel. Everything we have is gone. We're broke. 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 How can that be? We just got this new apartment. How are we going to pay for it? What about the car payments and Amy's tuition? What about all the money we have saved in the bank? Oh, the money that we have in the bank? Why didn't I think of that? Hold on, let me call and check real quick. Hello, bank. Can you check and see if there, we have any money left? I didn't think about that before I told my family we were broke. What's that? We don't have any? Can you check again to see if it magically reappeared? You didn't have to be mean about it. I was just asking. You ask stupid questions, you get stupid answers. Dad, can you stop yelling at Mom? She's just trying to help. What'd you say? I, I was just saying that you shouldn't yell at Mom. It's not her fault we're broke. What are you implying? I'm not implying anything. I'm just saying. What are you saying? Just uh, that, the, 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 Spit it out. Are you saying that this is my fault? Is that what you're saying? Are you saying that I did this? She's, is that what you're she's saying? She's not saying that. She's not saying that, okay? Come on, let's, let's just take a seat. I'll make you some dinner, okay? Are you okay, honey? I'm okay, right. Mom. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Okay, good. I'm sorry. What's that? What? That car and blueprint. It's Amy's. She wants to enter a car design contest where she could win $100,000 and possibly an internship with one of the biggest car manufacturers in the world. Car design? Last time I checked, cars were for men, not women. Amy, what have I told you about this car dream of yours? That I'm a woman and women are only good for cooking, cleaning, and taking care of children. So what is all this talk about a car design contest? Well, I'm really good at it, and 
Isn't that why you put me in the expensive private school so I can get a good education and a better life? Is that what your mother told you? The reason we put you in that expensive private school is so you could meet one of those rich boys and eventually marry him. The rest are just stupid dreams. No! Oh no, my model car! Kyle, you didn't have to do that. She worked really hard on that car. Yes, I did. She has to get it through that thick skull of hers that women should act like women and men act like men. I mean, look at her. Sometimes I forget I have a daughter. They're just clothes. And besides, that's how she likes to dress. Well, not anymore. What kind of guy wants to take her out dressed like a boy? From now on, you're not only gonna start dressing like a woman, you're gonna start acting like one too. You understand? I said, do you understand? Yes, sir. See there? Was that so hard? Now come on, honey, I'm starving. Make me something to eat, and I need all my energy for my job interviews tomorrow. You okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm I, sorry. I can fix it. I'm not talking about that. Mr. Roman. What are you doing here? Pl please, come in. Miss Roman, you doing okay today? Th this is my wife and daughter. Hi. Hi. You haven't paid your rent in the last two months, and you promised me you'd have it by the end of this month. Is it the end of the month already? Wow, time passes by. I didn't even realize. Kyle, don't play games with me. Where's the money? Mr. Roman, if you just give me one more month, I promise I'll have it then. Kyle, I can't keep running my business like this. I have bills to pay too. Listen, I was nice enough to let you slide the last couple months, but enough is enough. S sir, please, is there anything we can work out? I have a family. If you kick us out, we're gonna be on the streets. Okay, let's see. I've got a couple things to do around the apartment complex. What can I do for you? Do you know anything about plumbing? No. Anything about electricity? No. Hmm. Framing? Tile? Mortar? No, sir. AC and heating? Mm -hmm. Carpet installation? What can you do? Well, my old job was investing money. I can invest your money. I want you as far away as possible from my money. Is there anything else I can do for you? Unfortunately, I don't think you can do anything that's worth the value of your rent. So, I'll give you about a week before you leave my property. I can't tell you which day yet because I've got to get my Jeep into the mechanic and uh, it's kind of like this one right here. A nice Jeep. So I don't know when I'm gonna get it back. Excuse me, Mr. Roman, what did you say? Amy, be quiet. Grown men are talking. Did you say you were having problems with your Jeep? I said be quiet. Yes, I did. Why do you ask? Because she's a genius with cars. She even designs her own. Is that true, young lady? Can you fix it? Yes, sir. I could definitely take a look and try to see if I could figure out what's wrong and tell you how much I would charge you to fix it. Well, I'll tell you what. The mechanic gave me a quote of $5,000. If you can fix it, that's how much I'll be paying you. Mr. Roman, why would you do that? She's just a child. Aren't you worried she's gonna mess it up worse? Kyle, I wouldn't miss the opportunity to see a young woman fix a complicated Jeep like mine for anything in the world. Look how confident she is. If she thinks she can fix it, then as a father to five girls, the least that I can do is give her a chance. Thank you, sir. So do we have a deal? We have a deal. Excellent. Amy took a look at Mr. Roman's car 
and realized it was a Jeep model that she was familiar with. She had studied this car inside and out for years. She told Mr. Roman that the mechanic shop was trying to scam him, and all that was wrong with it was a loose wire that didn't allow the car to start properly. Mr. Roman then gave Amy the $5,000 and she used it to pay rent for the next three months. After that, Amy applied to the car design contest and won. Her father finally apologized for not believing in her and started taking anger management classes. After that, they all learned how to become a big happy family. It's very important that we treat everyone with love, kindness, and respect. Try to take time to understand others' dreams and support them no matter what. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed the lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this. And remember, here at Generation Hope, we're trying to make the world a better place, one story at a time.